Our final coach today is Illinois head coach Matt Bolan. Coach Bolan is entering his second season after leading Illinois to the WNIT quarterfinals in 19 wins a year ago. Illinois returns six letter winners, including three starters from last year's squad. Coach, we'll start with an opening statement and then open it up for questions. Yeah, it's an ex exciting time of year. And certainly uh, one of the hopes we had in coming here is teaching our kids how to practice the right way. We talked about that last fall, and certainly uh, our team gave us kind of what they knew and, and what they could. But our practice integrity now is night and day better than it was last year at this time. Offensively, defensively, uh, how we pr play, how we practice, how we prepare is much more to what we believe uh, championship culture will look like. And that's really been the process for us is teaching our kids the, the right cultures, uh, the right process of how to get better each and every day. Uh, we've been uh, extremely intense uh, throughout the fall. Our practice has been extremely competitive, and our, we've challenged our kids, and they've grown. And each day that they go beyond their limits, they, they grow, and they know that they're stronger and tougher. And you can see the confidence growing in them, which is really exciting for our program. We're, we're very young. We have seven of our 14 players are, are new players, but it's exciting for the future. And uh, our returning players are just better basketball players. Their feel for the game is uh, much better than it was last year at this time. Their ability to pass and shoot defensively, their understanding of the system is much better. And so we believe for good things to happen. Obviously, we lost two very good seniors uh, in last year in Charisma and Adrian. Uh, but I believe the overall team is going to have a very good year. And we're really exciting for the future of what we can do because we're, we're starting to practice the right way. We say, if you can practice right, you'll play right. And uh, I know it's going to lead to good things on the court. We'll see how fast. Uh, but the way we practice, it, it, we're going to play very well. Uh, it's just a matter of time. Thanks, Coach. We'll now open it up for questions. First question down here in the front. Morning, Coach. I, Coach Miller has seven freshmen coming in this year, or seven and eight new players. But who among the younger players are, are, are kind of standing out for you right now who may be able to help you the quickest? and? really how fast you want those kids to start helping you within, it, within the program. Yeah, the two of our freshmen are kind of battling for that five spot. Sarah Livingston and Jackie Grant uh, have kind of been going back and forth. They both have good size. They're 6'2", six 6'3", six with good length. They run the floor extremely well. So those two are kind of battling for that five. Mackenzie Piper would be in that mix as well, but she had a concussion two weeks ago and has not been able to practice. So, you know, that slowed her a little bit. And uh, we're hoping to get her back in the next week or two and see kind of where she's at. Uh, with that, but those two are both going to play. Uh, you know, one of the things our system is, is difficult for uh, big players because we pressure the ball so hard and because we switch one through five. So it, it's difficult for those players to adjust and it's, a, it's not an easy development. Uh, it's hard for big post players to play in our system right away, but both those have, kids have done extremely well. They're learning and developing. I'm not so sure they feel like that every day because they're getting stretched and because it, our practices are tougher than what they'll face in the game but they are growing and getting better. And uh, I told them the other day, it's just a matter of time when both you players are really great basketball players. They're great kids. Taylor Gleason was a runner-up Miss Basketball in, in Michigan. Uh, she's had a very good fall as well. And uh, so I think you'll see those three kids play. Uh, Ashley McConnell is a, a kid from Chicago here uh, that came in and uh, is surprised us with how quickly she's done, uh, how well she's done, quickly she's learned. So uh, it's been very good. One of the injuries we had, Kennedy Cattenhead tore her ACL this summer. Uh, she was from Bolingbrook and, and she was going to play. She was extremely competitive and doing well, but we'll redshirt her now. And then Michaela Shackelford, another freshman, has had some knee issues as well, had a scope on her knee, has been out for about six weeks. So uh, those two, I think, um, we'll see depending on Michaela's knee and how that develops. But uh, the other freshmen are doing really well. The other transfer we have, Kylie Simmons, has to sit out starting point guard at uh, Missouri for two years. She's been great, and really what we had hoped she would bring, she has, in building our cultures and, and teaching our kids to play the right way. Uh, she played for a great AAU program that taught her to, how to do things, and she's been exactly what we had hoped for in, in building our cultures and teaching our kids how to practice right and how to play right. Question for Coach in the back. Morning, Coach. Uh, last year, depth was a, was a big concern for your club, especially with the you know, higher tempo that you wanted to play. Uh, talk about getting some of those new players in and how that's helping your depth for this year. Yeah, certainly our depth is better than it was last year. 
uh, yeah, I think they're returning players. One of the things we take a lot of pride, and I have a great staff, I really do. I'm, I'm really fortunate to have an amazing assistance. And one of the things we take great pride in is the development of our players. And Taylor Tuck is a much better basketball player right now than she was last year. All of our returning players are significantly better. Uh, the three that are, are here today, Amber Moore, our senior, Ivory Crawford, and Sarah Hartwell, all three of those players have been in the system for years. Sarah didn't get to play in games, but you can see the growth in them, their understanding of how to play and how to practice. So our returning players are, are doing really well. And then when you add those freshmen to the mix, you know, we believe we'll be seven or eight, maybe nine deep where last year we really were four or five deep and it, uh, when we went to the bench, we weren't as good last year. We're hoping to have uh, a much better play coming off the bench this year and I think you'll see that. We're, we're probably a year away from having the depth that we really want to have, uh, but it, we'll see how the kids develop and, uh, and go. And you never as deep, you start the year, you always feel like, gosh, we got eight, nine, 10 kids that are ready to go. And then you start doing four out shell and, and guarding the guys and realize that, that kid's not quite ready. And the speed of the game affects the players. And so uh, we're deeper when we were last year. I think we'll know a lot more once we get to games and how the freshmen do and the, that pressure situation. But they're certainly capable, and it's exciting to have young kids that are talented and to have returning players that have such a better feel for the game and understanding how to play. And I think all of our returning players are much better than were last year at this time, and, and that's a compliment to my assistants and the great staff I have. Next question for Coach. Coach, with your buzz defense and some of the rules um, emphasis and changes this year, and I'm, I'm saying this, but I want to get your thoughts. Maybe beneficial from the 10 second backcourt rule, but not so sure about um, some of the <clears throat> contact on the ball handler type stuff in terms of the switching you do and, and how aggressive your, defensive, your defense is. Can you just um, address that and, and how you may have to adjust? Yeah, last year the, the buzz defense uh, really gave us a big lift. Obviously, we set the Big Ten record for forced turnovers, and that was mainly the buzz. We played more buzz last year than we wanted to because our man defense just wasn't where it needed to be, and we did not feel as confident in that. I think the combination of the two is, is really good. Um, certainly, the, the rules are going to affect us a little bit, but honestly, in the buzz, if we do it right, we shouldn't follow much in the buzz at all because we're playing passing lanes, and uh, the the one of the reasons we go to the buzz is because we don't foul as much in that. So I think you'll see us use that. Certainly we're going to do a lot of 2, two one back to it. We're going to extend our, our pressure. You know, the best thing we have is we have good athletes and they're very quick. And so we want to make it a full, game, full court game. We want to play faster than anybody else in the Big Ten. And uh, we believe we can do that. Obviously, when a team wants to play slow, it's not an easy thing to pick up the tempo. The 10 second rule will help us in that. And the buzz helps us in that as well, because it's hard to hold the ball against the buzz. So certainly the combination of the two is going to be important. We're working hard to not use our hands and to keep people in front. We scrimmaged Dayton last week, and, and honestly, it wasn't uh, as bad as I thought it was going to be going in. Either we did a pretty good job with our hands, or maybe those refs didn't call it quite as tight as maybe we'll see in, in some games. But it wasn't uh, too much of a factor in that game. And I think the combination of the two is, is really good. We really believe our, our system is as good as any, better than most, and our system will help us win championships and, and do the right things. We have time for one more question for Coach. Okay. Coach, thank you for your time today and best of luck this season. Thank you.